That's right. Well, our next guest would put the kids from High School Musical to shame. He's got a successful career as a stockbroker and he's a motivational speaker. But he says his best asset isn't his brain or his voice, it's his feet. If you think you can dance, check this guy out. Go! One, two, three, four, five. Tony Adams had a dream to become the world's fastest tap dancer. And this is his record attempt. It's been a long, tough journey. Born crippled, Tony has defied the odds. In 2008, he hot-footed his way into the record books with 602 taps per minute. But when a UK TV contestant out-tapped him, Tony was determined to reclaim his crown. Training hard and fast, it all came down to this. Five Tony, seconds, four, come on, go, three, go, two, go, one, keep go, going go, and stop! Go. With 1,056 tap beats in just 60 seconds, Tony is now the official Guinness World Record holder. Congratulations, Tony Adams, and he joins us now from Christchurch. Tony, good morning to you. Uh, what an amazing Oh, good morning. Feat. Oh, Thanks very much for having me nice on the show. <laughs> it's nice to have you. An amazing feat, excuse the pun. Um, how, how did all of this begin for you? It, um, as a baby, I was very much like Forrest Gump with uh, calipers and metal braces and um, heavy shoes to keep my feet um, and legs in line because I was um, crippled after having spent many months in, um, in hospital with a lung condition. My mother um, had lost her mother to medical misadventure as a 13-year-old and lost my brother to a brain tumour operation that went wrong. So she wasn't having a bar of any uh, medical operation and uh, put me to tap dancing at age three. And, uh, in her simple mind that uh, the muscles would strengthen and the legs would straighten and that's exactly what happened and it's um, just an amazing story really. Yeah. What a fantastic way of dealing with that disability. Good on your mum. Now you make it look so easy. Yeah. Is, is it a difficult thing to tap dance really fast? <clears throat> it is uh, all about technique. Um, just as a top athlete makes um, running 100 metres look really easy. Doing what I do, I do say to people, look, at, uh, it, it looks very fluid and uh, effortless, but uh, my heart rate, rate screams up to around the 200 beats a, a minute mark, and uh, um, I have to concentrate um, immensely on keeping it all together, because if I dig you know, one sort of foot in too much um, more than the other, all of a sudden I, I rip um, tendons and, and ligaments off knees and things. So um, there is an extreme technique involved. It yeah. certainly looks very elegant. Yes, and the woman in the pink, yeah, is that is that somebody you know who was yelling at you to go, go, go? That looked a bit distracting. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Well, she's, she's commonly known as, as, as the boss, um, she, or, or affectionately known, I should say. Um, she's, that's Melissa Moon, two times world mountain running champion, and um, she also has two other world titles, including steer racing champion. And uh, when I broke the f record the first time, she said to me, gosh, if you were fit and did the um, you know, aerobic exercise as you should and lost a few kilos, you could really smash the, uh, the record. And uh, so she took me around the, uh, the harbour of uh, Wellington on a regular run and um, up the, the hills of Mount uh, Cow Cow and Mount Victoria and Wellington, if people know that, um, all I can say is I'm, I'm so thankful I don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. But, uh, I could watch you, you do that my tap up. all day, Tony. I hope you, you know, you're a stockbroker. Do you, you tap around the floor like this? You know, do you, give, do you treat your fellow <laughs> office workers to a bit of tap? Oh, look, some of the clients think that I'm pretty quick on my feet when things go wrong. <laughs> um, but uh, no, look, it came as quite a shock to people in 2008. Um, I was over in Los Angeles doing a conference um, uh, speaking uh, engagement and a Hollywood film producer challenged me. He said, you can't possibly be dancing at the fastest speed in the world um, as you say you can do. And I said to him, look, I'm going to go back home and um, break the record and I'll email you when I do it. Because as a teenager, I knew that I could um, dance as fast as I, as I can now, but didn't have any idea how to go about um, yeah. breaking the record. Well, um, can we, so, can we... So, you know, 33 years on, I did it. Good on you. Can we get... We've got 30 seconds left. Could we, um, on our link oh, to sure. Christchurch, could, could we have a little look at your tap dancing style, please? Could you could you give us a demo? No problem at all. I'll, World's fastest tap dancer. Yeah, I'll do a few. I'll do. I'll, I'll do a few steps um, right. just to uh, warm up. Then Take I'll take it away, Tony. To full speed, just to give you a feel for it. Okay. 
Oh, fantastic. I love it. Oh, See, if you saw Tony coming down the street towards you, you'd think, look at the lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah, beat him to you. the bus. Oh, it's oh, fantastic, there you go. though. There's I love it. That oh. oh, good on you, Tony. <laughs> Tony, have a rest. We're going to have to leave you there. But uh, congratulations. Thank All you right. very much. Nice well work. Well done. Thanks. Best for having me on the show. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Michael Jackson, this is it, and Tony Adams, all in the one week. Awesome. After the break, forget Hollywood. This is Aussie Wood, the new wave of local stars taking over Tinseltown. It's coming up next.